Navy SEAL Julio Huertas was cleared of all charges that he helped cover up the alleged beating of an Iraqi prisoner who was suspected of being the mastermind behind that infamous 2004 killings of four American contractors in Iraq. Now, two other SEALs, Jonathan Keefe and Matthew McCabe, are still awaiting trial. Keefe's trial starts tomorrow. McCabe's begins on May 3rd. All three, by the way, demanded a trial instead of accepting a plea deal that they were offered. They were intent on fully clearing their names, as the SEALs like to say, all in, all the time. We welcome former U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations, John Bolton, to talk about the general implications of this for our military and defense department. And Adrian Murray, Fort Worth 912 Project President, joining us from Dallas. Adrian, first to you, this is great news, no? Absolutely, like you said earlier, one down and two to go. So what do you expect to happen with the other two cases? Is this a harbinger of what's to come, or is it not related? Um, well, you never know what to expect. Uh, with, uh, with Jonathan Keefe, who's starting his trial tonight, and uh, will be uh, going on tomorrow, we had the same charges as, as Julio. Uh, so we would expect the same outcome on that one. Uh, but with McCabe, it, it's, it's a little different because he has the greater charge of assault. Now the character, Which is a, the character. Go ahead, finish your statement. Well, I was going to say it, it's a, it's almost hard to wrap your head around how you would t take a, a Navy SEAL uh, and, and train him to be a, the, the finest warrior uh, on earth, uh, and then charge him with assault. I know. It's it's there are a lot of things about this case that are ridiculous, but the character witnesses. Now the, these SEALs have a lot of character witnesses uh, in their favor. Uh, are all of the character witnesses against them? either suspected terrorists or known terrorists? Yeah, exactly. And, and you know, how would you, how would you accept their, their testimony? I don't and know. It really doesn't make any sense. I, you know, I, I feel like sometimes I got, like I'm in Alice in Wonderland here. Everything seems upside down. Uh, it's, it's, it's almost hard to imagine 60 years ago prosecuting a, a U.S. soldier uh, for punching a Nazi. Exactly. Ambassador Bolton, what are the larger implications here for the way the military is being run now? Well, I think from all that we can see in today's verdict is a further piece of evidence that this prosecution is fundamentally uh, evidence of political correctness seeping into the military. Uh, and to go after these SEALs in the context of uh, trying, to, trying to keep this prisoner uh, under control, uh, I just find very hard to believe. Uh, it's the sort of thing that would discourage other uh, military people in similar circumstances. It really gives an advantage to the terrorism. So this verdict today, although it's on the lesser charge, I think is quite important. And I, just one thing you said at the beginning, I think it's important to emphasize, these SEALs could have taken administrative punishment, yeah, but they absolutely. were so sure of their innocence that they were willing to risk court-martial with potentially much graver consequences for their career. So we need to play it out, but I think today's a very They're good seeing, I mean, the Navy SEALs, the character of the Navy SEALs is one of the strongest characters in all of our armed forces. I know people who dispute that Marine Recon want to stand up and say we're the ones, but I don't think anybody would doubt these guys are men in principle. But the political correctness you talked about, I remember it in the Bush administration as well. Remember when we had our sights on, on a terrorist, I think it was in Afghanistan, Mullah well, Omar, I believe it was, and the Pentagon had to call lawyers to find out it'd be okay to, to get this guy. Yeah, th this really reflects, I think, a uh, hobbling of our military capabilities. Look, our soldiers are our fellow Americans. They, they, they believe in treating people fairly, but they believe in doing their jobs. And we've moved to the point where there's almost a presumption of their guilt rather than the opposite. I think this trial was uh, a high watermark of that unfortunate theory, and I hope that the result uh, has some corrective effect. Adrian, talk about the pool of people all over the country, in fact, all over the world, who are uh, chipping in for these guys. Well, we had a, a young man who's part of our group uh, named Josh Irving, uh, who jumped on this thing early and uh, helped stage a rally back in November, or excuse me, in December, on December 7th in Norfolk, Virginia, uh, in support of these guys. Uh, and he, start, he has started a website uh, called supportourseals.com. Uh, and there are thousands of people who are members of this. And what we are calling for uh, is rallies all across the country on May 3rd, uh, which is when Matthew uh, will be going on trial. Uh, and there, there is huge support. And we really need to get the American people out. It's a Monday. Uh, we need to get them out and, and show our support, not just for these three uh, young men, 
uh, but for, for all of our soldiers who are in harm's way Absolutely. to protect this country. By the way, quickly, Adrian, how do we find out about uh, demonstrations in our areas? Go to uh, supportourseals.com. Support Our uh, there's a wealth of information. Right, so there's a wealth of information on there. Adrian, best of luck to you. You're doing great work. Adrian Murray, Fort Worth 912 Project President. John Bolton, great to see you. Coming up on